August, wine number two, August 2022. Uh, I guess I have to make that distinction since we're <clears throat> over a year and a half into this. Well, at least for some of you. Uh, wine number two is a um, is from Vino Verde. Vino Verde, uh, many of you um, uh, probably know, think of as like, I used to call it uh, adult soda pop. It was uh, off dry, low fizz, low alcohol wine from Portugal at one time. And probably still you can find some bottles for $3.99, $4.99. Uh, nothing actually wrong with them. Uh, very refreshing on a 90 plus degree day like this whole string of them that we're having uh, that, that are that have been draining us. It's a um, uh, you know good summer refreshing wine, but it's uh, it, it's also made in a, a better quality version, if you will. Vino Verde is not just the wine type, but it's the sort of the region where the wine is made, and it's in Portugal. It is in northern Portugal. It's right below uh, northwestern Spain, what's uh, the Rias Baixas, where we have some, lots of experience with uh, with the wines from there, Albarino and. Uh, and also uh, uh, the, the the Tinto from there, and um, th that we've had the red wine from uh, uh, the Ultrea, if you remember the Raul Perez. So, um, and that's the Mencia grape or Mencia. So, um, so we have some experience uh, in, in that region, and also with this grape. Uh, the grape, the principal grapes that go into Vino Verde are Alvarino, better known as Alvarino. And um, in uh, in Spain and uh, and also Lorero. So um, so so you know, as I like to say, grapes don't stop at borders. Only only people stop at borders. So uh, you know, so, so Albarino, which is native to that Rio Spicious area, that northwestern quarter of Spain, uh, really has just migrated down past the border, uh, miles away, really only, and has gotten a foothold in this area. So so Vino Verde could be either of those grapes, some other white. Uh, indigenous grapes as well that go into it, or it could be a single single grape variety. This uh, from Anselmo Mendez, uh, Alvarino is 100% Al Alvarino or Alvarino. Uh, but what makes it different from the ones that we've tasted, uh, besides the fact that it's actually uh, grown and made in Portugal, is that it is, uh, it's called Contacto. It's a skin contact, Alvarino. Not an orange wine per se. It hasn't been uh, weeks or months on the skins. I think it's only about six days, uh, but it's enough to give it a little more grip, a little more structure, a little more backbone, and um, and make it, I think, a, a food friendlier wine, and also make it um, a little more versatile. Uh, again, great seafood wine. This would be good with summer vegetable dishes. Uh, you know, th this could be a good paella wine, if you will. Uh, you know, especially that little skin contact. Um, there goes the train. Uh, that skin contact in the, you know, in the winemaking gives it just a little more structure, a little more oomph, a little more spine. And, uh, but again, this is a, this is an excellent, uh, you know, summer, think, think late summer wine. You want a nice, uh, a nice summer white wine. You're having grilled fish, you're having uh, chicken, you're having grilled vegetables, you're, uh, Having salads, you know, this is this is an excellent wine. And Selma Mendez is native to um, to Vino Verde. He is he's kind of recognized as the kind of the wizard. He's like Ra what Raúl Pérez is to um, his area in in Rio Spicious. And Selma Mendez is to, uh, to to his area to um, to Vino Verde. He really is the master of uh, of Vino Verde. Makes a number of different wines at all different price points and uh, all different. Um, or different styles. So, uh, so this is um, this is a cool one. This is a cool one to actually, uh, I think, to, to drink. And uh, I think I first had it a few years ago. And it's brought in by a very small importer based in uh, based in Newark. And uh, you know, Mendez actually had his portfolio with one of the bigger players, but went back to uh, the small importer. And uh, so the wines aren't always easy to find. Uh, but when I, when you do find them, they're um, you know, seeing his name, Anselmo Mendez, on the label uh, of all different projects that he does is a pretty good sign that you're getting a, a real quality Portuguese wine. So um, enjoy that one.